So welcome to our next video uh, about TMPG Inc. Video Mastering Works 5. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the timeline editing mode. Um, last time we were talking about normal mode, which is basically just a list mode that lists your clips in a simple list format. Uh, timeline mode is more advanced. Uh, it allows you to use layers and view your entire project on the timeline format. So starting off from last time we were in normal mode. Uh, from normal mode you can click on the timeline editing button and this will convert your project to the timeline editing mode and it'll warn us to make sure we want to go to timeline mode. Once we go to timeline mode we cannot go back to norm normal mode so this is just to make sure we understand that click yes and timeline mode requires that we set a format for the timeline itself and you can do that by selecting a template these are basic uh, video formats we got SD resolutions, HD resolutions, uh, PAL which is Europe uh, NTSC, uh, or you can create your own custom template with this. These are all editable. Or if we go back, you can simply select a format from the clips themselves, which is a little easier. Since these are all pretty much the same, we're going to just choose this. So we'll check one of these. We say OK. So now we're in the timeline editing mode. Uh, here we have our preview window. If we move the playhead, we can see the video here. Over here we have our Properties tab and Explorer tab. Properties tab will show the properties of the selected clip. The Explorer tab will allow us to add uh, files to the timeline if we want quickly without having to go back into Windows Explorer. Down here is our playback for the preview. You can also use this slider to move the playhead. Over here is our frame and video information. Over here are our timeline options. We can add layers, delete layers, add clips, delete clips, add text clips, add filters, and transition settings. Here's our undo and redo buttons, and here's our timeline settings, which is basically the timeline format settings, which we've already gone through. And down here is our timeline. Right now we only have one layer. This is our layer. You can toggle layer visibility with this button. You can lock the layer so that it can't be changed. You can change the view of the layer, clicking it once, shows the animation and volume timelines. Clicking it again minimizes it into a smaller uh, layer in case you have a lot of layers. Clicking it again goes back to its default size. V turns on and off the video stream, so we turn it off, it's blank. Only the audio stream is available now. Turn it back on, video is available. A is the audio stream, we can turn that on and off. S is single mode, this automatically um, turns off the visibility for every other layer. But right now we don't have any other layers, so it doesn't really matter. So why don't we go ahead and add another layer. Just click on this add a layer button and the second layer is added. Then we, we can drag a clip up here and now we have a layered video. Let's turn back our audio. Turn on our audio. So if you've ever used uh, any timeline uh, editor or even something like Photoshop that has layer editing, uh, you'll understand the, the strengths of having layers. Now you might be saying, what can you do with layers in terms of video? 
Well, the most basic thing is that you can layer your audio. So let's say you have the audio from one clip that you want to overlay onto another clip. You can do that with layers, like I've done here. Both audio streams will be available when we play this. But we can't tell because there's not much audio here in these clips to begin with. Visually, we can create some interesting effects like picture in picture. So let's try that right now. So you can move the video, you can resize it, and you can rotate it using these handles. This will give us a picture in picture effect like this. which is pretty cool. So let's talk about transitions. How do you do transitions on the timeline? If you have two clips, you simply click and drag one to, and overlay it over another one. The part where it overlays is your transition. Right now we have a crossfade. You can zoom in with this slider so we could see this transition. And right now it's uh, 18 seconds long. That's a long transition. So let's shorten it. Make this area shorter. Mouse over, you could still see the duration. Right now it's three seconds, almost four seconds, and you could just keep tweaking it. Uh, you can also edit the transition with this button, and this allows you to change the transition to something else. So let's say we want one of these, and now it's a shrink to center. And we can preview it, go in here, playing, and there it is. There's our transition. Click view all. This will resize the view to fit your window. Now you can see all the clips. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of the more advanced features of timeline editing. Uh, let's talk about animation and volume adjustment. Now, if you remember, click on this and you can see our animation and volume timelines. Now what we can do here is we can add key points if you right click. Now it'll add a key point wherever the playhead is. That's this line. So you can right click, click on the add a key point option and it'll add a key point there. Now the key point sets a certain state for that specific point in the video. So let's create another key point over here. So now we have two distinct states, although right now nothing has really changed. So let's resize the second key point. We'll resize our video. And let's see what happens between those two key points. So it's playing. And there you go. It's animating and shrinking until it hits the state at the second key point. Same thing with volume. You can add a key point. On the volume, add another key point, and with the volume it's a little different. You can drag the key point up and down. Now this is the volume level. The higher it is, the louder the volume will be. The lower it is, the softer it will be. Pretty intuitive. So let's see what that sounds like. 
we'll move our playhead a little before the key point. And it gets a little louder. And you can continue to add key points and adjust as you see fit. Let's do some other things. You can also rotate. If you want to do some rotation animation, there it goes. And of course, you can layer things. That way, you can see something that. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about uh, timeline editing mode. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about TMPG and Video Mastering Works 5, you can visit our website. You can download a free 14-day trial, or you can purchase it starting from $59.95.